Hello guys, welcome to Ashley Lancelot Show. Um, this is going to be a video of me looking through some miniatures on eBay. Some of them are look good, some of them are really expensive, and I'm probably going to cry the majority of it because I can't afford it. Please, if you like the video, subscribe, like, and share. And uh, we'll be looking at some of those. It'll be like part one eBay uh, stuff. Um, I've been really into uh, Warhammer, especially the Beloved Angel. When I was a kid, I loved Warhammer going to Game Workshop. Before they changed now, they changed to Warhammer Shop now. Basically, badly poor. I was poor. I was a kid. And we got one box set. And, but we, but it was just cheaper to buy a whole bunch of little small little metal pewter for like chainmail for D&D &D and stuff. So I never really got around learning how to play Warhammer. But I still don't have a chance to learn how to play Warhammer because I learned by actually playing it instead of reading up on it. So a lot of game store is open. It's just not enough players to teach me how to play the damn game. I am going to do Blood, uh, Blood Angel paint streaming uh, stream as well. A whole bunch. I might 3D print some. Even though Game Workshop don't like you to 3D print it and play it, so I'm not going to play in the tournament, so I really don't give two craps about it. Uh, we'll look at some Warhammer stuff and see anything that comes out. Um, I like the old Warhammer. Not too much about the, the new one. Let's see what we got for 10 to $14. Buy it now. Uh, Taloran Stormtrooper Commissioner Old Op Rare Metal. Really? Like a big, mm. eh, oh. wow, yeah, that thing being better days. Holy crap! Is that like a turban around their heads with grenades, chainsaw, chainsaw blade, and a bolt gun. Some grenades right here. Eh. I don't know. I'm not really into the what you call it. The only like the. Uh, the the Terran, I think they're called Terran, or like the the Blood Angels or the, the Gray Wolves, like one of the ones or the Gray Knights. I like the Terranids a lot, but I want the older Terranid. Look at this sad bottle, one dollar and twenty five cents. I think I could do a restoration on this. Let's see if I put five dollars. I don't think it's worth more than five dollars. How much is Akarite thing is worth? I don't know how a lot of these things are actually worth. Uh, let's see, twenty-eight dollars thirty-four cents. Hmm. Hmm. Ten dollars? Don't tell my wife I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm not paying more than ten dollars for that. Don't tell my wife though, because uh, she find out I buy something like this without her knowing, she's gonna murder me. There's some whole bunch of terrains. Um, kind of hard to see, actually. Let me scoot right in. Mmm. The glasses are in the car. Got some goblins. Looks like a dog. Like I don't mind getting these old ones and actually painting them. Of of the techniques I know, I learned so far. I've been painting for almost 20 years now. And I do I do a lot of D and D painting as well. I rarely paint Warhammer. But other than that, I want to get like like a lot of Warhammer stuff. Just paint them. Um, that thing looks kind of gnarly. That's supposed to be a Terranet. I don't mind getting that. Hate re re ripping all the paint out of it and just redo the whole thing. I think that'll look really cool in my opinion. But that's like $7.91. Like I said, I, I payday is not till end of this week. And uh, some of these are actually worth buying, especially in the box. So we have like a couple plastics and a couple pewter. They're all pla uh, plastic. But, uh, and they're all plastic. I like the old pewter. I grew up with the pewter. Well, back then it was lead, then pewter. I have some lead figurine. Uh, illegal. Ill, it's illegal for me to sell. But I just keep it. <laughs> because a lot of times the the Sigmar or the Fantasy, I can actually use it in my D&D campaign. Not so much with 40k. I can. I don't have anyone that likes to play futuristic sci-fi style. I can do a Warhammer campaign as well, but 
fighting the people to play is a different story. Uh, these are from the Necrons. Cool, so 1, 5, 6, 9, 12, 15. 15 of them for how much? Uh, 3 times uh, for the Kentop Tech, uh, Kenpo Ken Tech uh, Wraith. So 3 for 25. Uh, I'm okay. I'm not really fond of the Necrons. I think they look cool. But not too far. $102.50. Must be gold. Oh, these are some old tanks. And you know those are small because I have actually a case of those. So it's this, probably this small. For a whole bunch of those for 100 bucks. And with a very big paint job. Um, that was an offer. Oh, $102.50. Bids. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, too rich for my blood. Sigmar Death Rattle. Nagash, uh, Nagash Skeleton Warrior. I just had like money. Someone gave me like a black debit card or black credit card. I'll be just buying a whole bunch of this shit and just painting a whole bunch of this shit. What do you just do? You just. What? Just brown and just put. I don't know if that's dust pigment or that is. Uh, some kind of a brown wash. Horrible brown wash. A lot of unpainted uh, stuff. One's missing a pen. That's kind of okay. A skeleton. So. I can 3D print a whole like army of them. Like one thing, like once I got the 3D printers, it was, it was very interesting that how, how, uh, you know, affordable of me to just, I could print a whole space marine stuff, but I don't know if, I, I don't know what happened if I bring it to the game workshop or, or one of those, damn it, what, game workshop or one of those, uh, what you call it, um, game store and I, I break like a 3d printed models i don't know they're going to be like harassing me about it or not so i want to get some why that's two dollars and fifty cents it's a bargain not bad green i mean these are the, the assassins old school assassin looking ones um of the, the thing five bucks Looks like I'm not lucky today. What else do we have? $21.50. I do have the money to buy it. It's just I don't have the money right now for me to buy it. I, I got a lot of stuff to do. But I'm gonna do a lot of painting videos and stuff. I do love pewter. I don't, I don't I'm not really a big fond of plastic, and that's plastic right there. But I don't make pewter anymore because pewter has lead in it, so. I don't know how much lead they, they put less on pewter nowadays, but it's more brittle than they were before. I do want to get those ugly looking Terranets too, but I, I don't know if we can... Oh, let's see if they have it. I, I've been watch, looking at uh, a lot, a whole lot. Um, I know they um, make a lot. I know a lot harder to get the older ones and they cost a lot more. I know these figurines have values if they're painted really good make a lot of money out of it but I don't want to get murdered by Ashley oh god look at those tree people come on it looks kind of look, it might look ugly if you paint it really good it'll look pretty good but it has some characteristics of the old yes old old 130 holy shit these are uh, these are uh, what I used to paint back then back then it was oil based paint it wasn't any kind of acrylic because Citadel paint was really expensive back then. Acrylic paint was really expensive. Oil was the, got the oil paint uh, models and stuff. I do need to get a book for it. I think that's all they have for that. Probably 1980s. I don't know when when they uh, first cut their shit. 1980s. I can just get like a whole bunch of 1980s one and just bring it in. What else? Damn. <laughs> Someone hasn't painted this for a long time. Like if you look at like the old paint style then and paint style how people paint now, it's like night and day. Literally just night and day. I want it. Ooh, a dollar thirty uh, one dollar and thirty seven. I'm one I'm those I'm the half Asian uh, penny pincher. I think this is the executioner. Merry Christmas. Why Merry Christmas? Is that Santa with a with the executioner? 
and an axe, Warhammer, Chaos Santa primed. Uh, they had jokes back then. Oh, lordy, lord, lord. Ah, uh, I wish I had more money. I wanna cry. Fighter, barbarian, female from Warhammer. I. Ugh. 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 That's bad. Oh my eyes. If you have a lot of these old Warhammer, you can buy yourself a good chunk. $575 for high elves rare. Got a better paint one. And these are a lot better paint. Highlights and everything, the wash. I think you can, I think with our paints now, we can make it a lot brighter, a lot more detailed looking lines and stuff. These are old paints uh, with really bad, bad pigment. Now our pigments are a lot better now than what it was way before. If I get this for $570, I would strip all of it, paint it all. The pigment that we have now, that's a higher quality type pick. Also, you know, I've been watching a lot of freaking videos. Oh, you, you turned this into the sun, sun guy from the uh, Dark Souls. Well, anyhow, guys, hope you liked the video. Subscribe, like, and share. Uh, if you want me to do more of these eBay looking videos and stuff, I would love to do some more. Uh, there's a lot I've been looking at, especially looking at the prices for one. It's actually a lot cheaper to buy some of the sets here than Game Workshop, even though it's used. As long as it's complete, or sometimes you'd be lucky they're assembled, or sometimes there's like ones that look ugly as hell, uh, you, it might be worth buying. Who knows? Yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.